Welcome to the chapter on chemical process principles. These fundamental concepts form the backbone of chemical engineering. In this chapter, we will explore material balances, energy balances, and process flow diagrams. These principles are essential for analyzing and designing chemical processes. Material balances are crucial for analyzing chemical processes. They help track the flow of materials through a process and are based on the principle of conservation of mass. The law of conservation of mass states that mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical process. Therefore, the total mass entering a system must equal the total mass leaving the system plus any accumulation within the system. The general material balance equation for any process can be written as input plus generation minus output minus consumption equals accumulation. Consider a mixing tank where two streams of water are mixed. Stream 1 has a flow rate of 10 kilograms per second, and stream 2 has a flow rate of 5 kilograms per second. The output stream has a flow rate of 15 kilograms per second. Assuming steady state operation, the material balance equation simplifies to input equals output. Therefore, 10 kilograms per second plus 5 kilograms per second equals 15 kilograms per second. Energy balances are used to account for the energy entering and leaving a process. They are based on the first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed from one form to another. The general energy balance equation for a process can be written as energy in plus energy generated minus energy out minus energy consumed equals energy accumulation. Consider a process where a stream of water is heated from 25 degrees Celsius to 75 degrees Celsius. The energy required to heat the water can be calculated using the specific heat capacity of water, which is 4.18 kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin. If the mass flow rate of water is 2 kilograms per second, the energy balance equation is Q equals the mass flow rate times the specific heat capacity times the temperature change. Substituting the values, Q equals 2 kilograms per second times 4.18 kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin times 50 Kelvin, which equals 418 kilojoules per second. Process flow diagrams, or PFDs, are graphical representations of the major equipment and flow paths in a chemical process. They provide a clear overview of the process and are essential for design, analysis, and communication. A typical process flow diagram includes process streams represented by arrows showing the flow direction, equipment such as reactors, heat exchangers, pumps, and separators, and stream labels indicating the composition, flow rate, temperature, and pressure of the streams. Consider a simple distillation process where a mixture of ethanol and water is separated into its components. The process flow diagram for this process would include a feed stream entering the distillation column, the distillation column where separation occurs, and two output streams, one for the distillate, which is ethanol rich, and one for the bottoms, which is water rich. Here is a simplified process flow diagram. The feed enters the distillation column, and the distillate and bottoms exit from the column. Understanding material balances, energy balances, and process flow diagrams is crucial for analyzing and designing chemical processes. These principles help ensure that processes are efficient, safe, and environmentally friendly. As you progress in your studies, you will delve deeper into these topics and apply them to more complex systems. Thank you for watching this chapter on chemical process principles. We hope you found it informative and helpful. Stay tuned for more detailed discussions in the upcoming chapters.